What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and uh, this is another battle video. This time I'm playing TZ DPS which is the upgraded version of a TZPS deck and it includes Dreadagons, DVO Lights and a couple of Rocky Helmets which means uh, with the help of my Noble Victories booster box, if you haven't watched that opening you should, so I got some really sweet pulls. Uh, I managed to upgrade my upgrade my TZPS deck, which I'm playing on the right side, and on the left side is uh, my opponent with Ambor, uh, the Magnabor deck, which you guys requested. So if any of you guys have another request, just put them in the comment section, and if I have the necessary cards, I can uh, make that battle video. So. Uh, we start off, my opponent uh, can start and he has a Tapic as his active and I'm having uh, a Zekrom as my active which is good because he has a fair amount of HP, 130, can't complain there and that's uh, all he can do, he attaches a fire and he attacks me for 10 damage and I'm attaching a double card and using the tool card to attach it to my Zekrom EVLI which means all damage done to Zekrom is reduced by 20 and that means even if I hit myself with the Bolt Strike, I only uh, hit myself for 20 damage, which is an awesome tool card. I suggest you guys test it out. And I'm using Dual Ball. I got one hit to get out one basic Pokemon, which isn't that good because I wanted to have two to get the combo straight going, patch reach your Shaman, but one is still nice. I uh, did battles where I played, I believe, three Dual Balls and they were all Tails, like uh, using one Dual Ball, Tails, Tails, a Junk Arm, Tails, Tails, uh, uh, the Junk Arm for Dual Ball, then Tails, Tails. Well, yeah, here I got one heads getting out uh, Patch Reach you, and I'm placing it on the bench to, uh, with the Poke Power self generation. You can get an energy to him, and I'm using Energy Switch to get the energy to uh, my Zekron. And that's all I can do for now. Or, no, I have a Juniper, which is awesome, a great supporter when you played lots of cards already in your first turn. I discard a Rocky Helmet and a Catcher, which is bad, but I can get this back with Junk Arm, so it doesn't really matter. I get a fresh new hand. And there I go, lots of basics, I got two Zekroms uh, on the bench and a Dredagon. So here you see, I have Dredagon in this deck as well, it's really great when uh, uh, my Zekrom gets knocked out, I can use that card uh, as my active to stall a bit or maybe to attack even. It's a really great card, so uh, maybe you guys don't like Dredagon, maybe you do, but I like it. Maybe other guys already put Dredagon in the TCBS deck, they already saw the unique uh, basic that uh, has 100 HP, so it's perfect for a TZBS deck. Or now it's called TZ DPS. <laughs> that's why. That's what I call it. And um, he plays Magnemite on the bench and gives him a fire energy, so he's building up Magnemite, which means if I have a catcher in my hand, I'll definitely knock it out before it can evolve to Magnezone because Magnezone can uh, draw cards with his Poke Power Magnetic Draw, so I don't want that. That's why. Usually if he sets up a Magnemind, I know he's gonna have a Magnezone and I uh, knock it out right away by using Catcher. And it looks like I have a Catcher, so Catcher for Magnemind. There we go. And due to Eevee Light, if I use uh, Bolt Strike, I only deal 20 damage to myself, which means there will be lots of uh, Bolt Strikes coming after that, prize after prize, because uh, only dealing 20 damage to yourself is way better than dealing 40 damage to yourself. That's why Eevee Light is one of... Uh, the good tool cards out there at the moment. We have uh, Rocky Helmet and Eevee Light, so both tool cards really awesome. Test them out, and uh, I'm sure you'll like them. Uh, he uses Twins right now, which is really great at this point of the game because he doesn't have any basics anymore because, because I knocked him out. So he's uh, trying to get more basics to get the match going. But this first match wasn't that interesting. You only see the power of a uh, uh, one deck, like, meaning the DZ DPS deck. So you don't see the power of Magnabor. But I included the second game, which will be after this one actually. So you can see the power of a uh, Magnabor deck after this match. First is uh, my time to shine. You'll see here uh, there. Are, the really fast uh, TZ DPS deck, which uh, uses Bolt Strike to with Eevee Light, which means a lot of Bolt Strikes, way more than before. If uh, you played and before with a TZ DPS deck or a ZPS deck, you'll know that uh, dealing 40 damage to yourself is crucial. Maybe some of you guys put in defenders, but I didn't do that in my previous deck. So I'm, now I have Eevee Light, awesome trainer card. So he. Gets out Reshiram and a Tepic with his uh, twins, which is kind of strange. I would have gone with uh, one Reshiram and another card, but yeah, it's just his move. And it's uh, yeah, I used Chase Training to get cards, and now I'm using Junk Arm for two cards, uh, discarding Collector and uh, another card to get back Rocky Helmet. 
and here you see the perfect view, uh, way to uh, attach Rocky Helmet is to draw the gun because he has a ability uh, called um, Rough Skin, which lets you put two damage counters on uh, the attacking Pokemon if uh, Dragon is your active Pokemon and gets hit, but with Rocky Helmet, he'll be four damage counters. So that's a really great uh, tool card. So here you see both tool cards from Noble Victories and Play. And I knock out another Pokemon, another Tepic. And it's his move. He evolves to Pig Knight. It would have been interesting if he had Rare Candy for um, Ambor and then got so many energies on the Rush Ram that he could knock out my uh, Sacrum later on, but. He doesn't have that much luck, no supporters and stuff, so he's uh, pretty much in a bad situation. I'm using uh, plus power with Professor Oak's new theory, so I'm, uh, I can knock out Reshram in one blow and only dealing 30 damage to yourself. Usually uh, in the past you would have done 50 damage to yourself if, uh, uh, yeah, if you used Bolt Strike you would have done 50 damage to yourself, which was way worse than uh, now dealing only 30 damage when you use plus power. So Rush Rum will be out of there and I will still be alive, only having 6 damage counters on me already and I picked 3 prize cards so that's really awesome, I'm sweeping the field. And I'm uh, setting up uh, another Zekrom on the bench so when this one's out, probably gonna send out Dredagon, if my uh, he's, if my Zekrom gets uh, knocked out of course, because he only has a Tapic on the bench and a, a Pig Knight, I'm using Seeker. And this pretty much won the game for me. With Seeker you can uh, put a bench Pokemon back into your hand as well as your opponent. You have to do that so uh, he's out of the picture, the Tepic, and can just knock out the Pig Knight just uh, setting up some stuff on the bench and bang! Bolt Strike dealing uh, 20 damage to myself and knock out the Pig Knight. And that's the first match. There we go. The power of this deck is really incredible. So uh, expect a lot of expect a lot of those decks in uh, future events, uh, tournaments, and stuff, and leagues. Anyway, here's the match two where uh, we had a lot of uh, time on our hand because uh, we did lots of matches to be, to get this match going because uh, I won most of the matches and I was kind of boring winning and winning with. Uh, Fast uh, uh, TC DPS deck, and he didn't g even get to get out a uh, Magna Zone because I already I always catch them when he sends out a Magnemite with an energy on the bench or something. So it was uh, my opponent was kind of frustrated. That's why uh, we did more and more matches until we have one of these matches where you will see that's a long-lasting match, which means that it will take to the bare end where we both have like uh, two prize and one prize remaining stuff like that, where it's a really exciting battle. And he gets out the uh, Magna Zone and the Ambor, so look forward to that. And I start with uh, Dredagon and he starts with Cleffa, put a uh, Magna Mine on the bench as well with an energy, so it's really a uh, catch your material that uh, Magna Mine. Again, with the energy, it's uh, kind of saying, hey, catch me. <laughs> and I uh, use Catcher right away, the Magna Mine will be out of there. The, my strategy, if you up against the deck, and uh, you know it's a stage 2 or a stage 1 deck, you just should knock out the basic before they evolve. That's uh, one of the main tips I want to give you. And with the TCPS deck, it isn't that hard to knock out a basic in one turn, you just have to deal... Mm, the Magnemite only have 50 HP and the Tapex 60 or 70, so even draw the gun with the uh, attack, uh, I don't know what, she's, what it's called, but it has attack deals 60 damage and your opponent can retreat, so you can... Uh, Knock out any basic uh, your opponent starts with, usually. And if not, you can start with Zekrom as well, which can deal the maximum of 120. And I pull off the combo with Collector. So uh, I'm dealing uh, 60 damage to the Magnemite and knock it out to get my first prize on the first turn. And setting up my entire bench with a Zekrom, Zekrom, Tornadoes, uh, Patch Retour and Shaman. After the combo, Patch Retour and Shaman are pretty much useless unless you have Seeker, but. They're uh, also catcher material. Catcher material. That's what I want to say. Uh, if your opponent has catcher, those two should be careful because if they knocked out, your opponent can get a, a cheap prize card. But uh, that means that uh, some damage is spared on one of my main attackers, like Zekrom, Tornadoes, or Dragon. So, and yeah, Professor Oak. That's what he used and gets out Tapic on the bench, and that's pretty much it, I believe. He doesn't use Eek this time, just look through, him, through his hand, he's still doubting on using stuff and if he doesn't use Eek, uh, that would mean that he has a rare candy and an evolution. 
And again, there's a Mega Knight with one energy attached to him, which means that he wants me to knock it out with a catcher, I believe. Because uh, you have to be careful when you play uh, decks, that is, uh, when you attach an energy, it's usually because you have the ev evolution of that Pokemon. And if I... I got a fresh new hand, and looks like I have a catcher, so... And a double Coros, nice. I'm attaching it to the Tornadus, and that'll be it. I'm using catcher for the Magnemite. And my opponent is again frustrated because it reminds me of all the battles we had uh, before this one. It says, ah, it's just the same as the previous matches. But we'll see, because this is a long-lasting match. As I said, this is game two, a long-lasting match, which means it'll be a most interesting deck uh, of uh, the entire day. Where you can... Uh, see the power of both decks, here you see the strategy of Magna Boar and Easy DPS which you already see in the first game, but still seeing it again with Rodigon in action this time is uh, pretty nice. Um, I'm also uh, thinking about which decks also would come out of the Noble Victory set so I can test them out in the battle videos. You can post them in the comment section if you know any deck. Um, he uses straight Training. To get back, uh, not to get back, we get two cards and discarding three others. Catcher, so it's his turn to use Catcher, and he doesn't use him on Patricio or uh, Shaman, which means he wants to stall to get Sacrom as my active. He thinks that I don't have uh, what it takes to retreat the Sacrom, which means yeah, he's a one turn that he can, uh, yeah, not be attacked or something. But uh, my deck runs four double Carlos, and I already have two in play, and four. I have four prize cards remaining, so he hopes that I don't have a double Carlos to switch around my Zekrom, but I could have something else like energy switch or something to get uh, my attack going. I'm still looking through my cards, and I know that I have energies enough, so I'm dialing on uh, discarding some or something. I'm hmm, still looking through my discard pile again. I have a bunch of catchers, ah, and there I go, I have an energy switch on my discard pal, which means junk arm straight away for, I discard dual ball and an energy, since I already have enough energies and play, can just use energy switch to get the energies to the active Pokemon, and I have one energy to Zekrom, now energy switch, an energy from Dragon to Zekrom, which means I can do outrage, but unfortunately I don't have a plus power, uh, not yet again. I'm using Professor Oak's new carry, get a fresh new hand. Whoop, 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 a fresh new hand. There we go. I am shuffling like crazy here. I want to have a, a plus power, I believe. We were talking about uh, the plus power. We, why don't we do the matches we also talk? So uh, it's we mute, mute the, the video clip and just add some music in it. So it's much interesting with some commentary. So. Uh, fresh new hand, unfortunately, no plus power. Not a single one, and I already used the supporter, which means I can use uh, another one. And yep, 20 damage on Klaffa. That's all I can do. And he uses twins. This is bad because he can get out Magnezone, Rare Candy, and Magnezone. So he's gonna have Magnezone this turn. And probably a magnetic draw after that, getting energies to Magnezone with Ambor's uh, Poke Power. So here you see the power of Magnabor, as I promised, or as you guys wanted to see. A Magnezone he uses Super Rod, which is another uh, trainer card out of the Noble Victory set, which lets you put three and any combination of Pokemon and energy cards back into your deck, which is great if you have cards to get them back uh, out of your deck, like Energy Search or. Uh, um, a Pokemon communication or collector or something. So, great card, Super Rod. It's definitely way better than um, Flower Shop Lady. Hmm. There he goes with the magnetic draw. And looks like he drew too much cards here, and that's why I say, Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, he drew one card too much, so I said, Put it back. <laughs> Anyway, he attaches energies to uh, Magnus Zone by uh, the Poke Power and uh, energy from the turn. So Magnus Zone is ready for his uh, big attack. And now he uses Cleffa Eek for zero energies. One of the most used cards in the entire 
uh, format right now. Many people use uh, Eve to get uh, the cards they want, just stall when uh, Clafa is asleep because he can't receive any damage when he's asleep. And it's my turn, he's awake the Clafa, which means he'll be knocked out. Or if I have Catcher, I'll probably want to Catcher the Ambor, yeah. Because he has a big, big retreat card of 4. <laughs> So I can stall a bit there. Here you can see a glimpse of his hand. And I'm using Junkrat to uh, discard Dual Ball and Pokemon Collector to get out a uh, catcher, of course. And it's great when you use a junk arm for the cards you don't really need, like Dual Ball and Collector, because I have an uh, entire bench full. So I don't really need those. And I catch the Ambor, as I said. And that'll be it. I'm gonna deal 120 damage and dealing. 40 damage to myself. Unfortunately, I don't have Eevee Light right now. Otherwise, I only would have done 20 damage to myself. And he has a twin, uh, not a twin, a switch. To switch around his Ambor for the Cleffa. So he wants to uh, preserve his uh, Ambor to use the uh, Poke Power once more. Here you see uh, Poke Power gets as many fire energies to your Pokemon as you like during your turn. Awesome Poke Power, but the downside of Ambor is his retreat cost and his bad attack itself. It only deals 80 damage for 4 energies. And if you consider that Kingdra and Dolphin can deal 60 damage for 1 energy, even Asshole Gore, the new from the new buff Pokemon from the Noble Victory set, also deals 60 damage for 1 energy. So 80 damage for 4? Nah, just bad. But uh, he has Magnezo which is the big attacker of uh, this deck, it can deal infinite damage, you just have to multiply 50 times the number of uh, energies you have on your Pokemon, your, even your bench, you can just put them in the Lost Zone as many as you like and do that much damage, like 50 for 1 energy, a really good attack, especially if you have lots of energies in your deck and you're using a card like Ambor to get uh, as many energies as you like on your Magnezone. And it's my turn, Sage is training once more, and hmm, decisions, decisions. Looks like there's a Tornadus. Ah, you can see the glimpse here. I'm discarding Tornadus energy and something else to get back some cards, giving an energy to Zekrom, Junkarm again. I'm discarding two energies because uh, my field, my bench, I mean, has uh, enough of energies already. Just they all need one energy to attack, but I'm using energy switch. I mean one more energy to attack the main attacker, so energy switch to again for uh, the, my Zekrom, just so I can attack. I love to use energy switch, really great card. I only run one copy though, but still, when I have it in my discard pile, Junk Arm is the main key to get it back. And there you see, he has lots of energies on his Magnezone, so the Ambor really comes in handy right now. Hmm, I only have one card in my hand, or no. Can see that right? Oh, probably more. What am I saying? Two or something? Mm hmm. What, what would my opponent do right now? He's still doubting. Getting another another energy to Magnezone. He's pretty confident that he can knock out two Pokemon with the Magnezone by putting six energies in the Lost Zone. So he can knock out two Zacrums. So that's really bad for me. Or even with 5 energies it will work, like 3 for one Zekrom and then 2 for the other one that already has damage counters on him. So he knocks him out, put him in the Lost Zone, and that's it, Zekrom is out of there. He got he gets his four, uh, first prize, and I'm using Dragon just to stall a bit or maybe to attack. I want to have at least 2 damage counters on the Magnezone, so I can knock it out with a Bolt Strike later, using Fast Rogue's new theory. Shuffling. I'm getting six fresh cards. Hopefully, some good ones. And there we go. Mm, yeah, Rocky Helmet. Awesome. There's a combo. Reminds me of the first game. Rocky Helmet with Dragon, which means if Magnuson tries to attack my Dragon, he will receive four damage counters on. That will give me a head start to bolt strike it later on to knock it out. Now without Magnezone, the deck pretty much runs on uh, uh, Ambors and uh, Rashrams. 
Usually they also put uh, Rokwaze and the Oxus Legend in this deck, but I don't have this uh, that card or those pieces of that Legend, so I've put in uh, in that deck two Rush Rams. So my opponent put in two uh, Rush Rams to test it out for me. Um, stage training, lots of stages trainings in uh, this battle. Hmm, starting a Magnezone. Nice to know, as well as a Junk Arm. So those two other cards must be really important. Uh, energy to Magnezone, Rare Candy, another Ambor. So they, those were really important to get out another Ambor. There he goes, more in the Lost Zone. There's about mm, five energies in the Lost Zone already. Like I said, he only needed five to uh, get two knockouts. He already took two prize cards now. And I'm back with my Drodagon once again. If he catches another one, I'd be real disappointing. My Dreadgun is there to stall. You should attack it. <laughs> hmm. Looking through my hands, what can I do? Catching an energy to Dreadgun. Ah. Uh, dual Ball. I was doubting on using Dual Ball, but since I have it in my hand, I thought, why not give it a spin? See what uh, trainer cards and stuff I still have in my deck. It's a great way to check your deck dual ball. <laughs> also, I only have one basic left in my deck, which is Patch Richu. I get it out just for fun. But uh, later on, you will see that I should have put it, uh, should have left it in the deck. <laughs> You'll get it why at the end of the video. Um, and there I go. I use my attack for 60 damage, and my opponent can retreat. So he's pretty much stuck with his Magnezone. He has to attack me right now. Unless he has catcher. Whoa, two energies in a row with the Ambor ability, not ability. Yeah, it's an ability, not a poke power. Maybe I've said it before it was a poke power, but since black and white they are called abilities. Kind of strange, yeah I know. But it's the new way. Abilities. It's like a poke body and poke power. Uh yeah, combined. But uh if you in the past, when you used uh, when you have to use poke power, you should pronounce it with poke body as it was in play instantly. But ability is just yeah, I don't know, kind of different. And energy retrieval for one energy because there is only one fire energy and it's the discard pile that attaches it to the other uh, ambor, which is the ability ten promo I pulled a couple of week or a week ago. Um. And the energy from the turn, lightning energy to Ambor. The Ambor is ready to attack, even though it only deals 80 damage, he set them up because the Magnezone will be knocked out pretty soon. He knocks out my Dreadagon and receives some damage, 4 to be exact. So he has uh, 100 damage on his Magnezone. So I only need to attack for 40. And there I go, attaching energy to my Tornadus. I can knock it out with a Hurricane. And uh, the great thing about Tornadus is when you use Hurricane, you can. Uh, switch around energies afterwards so you can build up a Zekrom later on as you can see he's on the bench ready to be yeah this is great I used this uh, catcher uh, secret combo to uh, put a uh, Amber with a uh, damage counters on him on, as his active and he has to put one Pokemon back into his hand so it was a really tough decision or he could have uh, put the Amber back into his hand but then he wouldn't have an Amber and play anymore that's why he decided to uh, put the uh, Magnezone in his hand since he already had damage counters on him, so it was the obvious choice. So I got rid of Magnezone pretty easy with Seeker. But now I'm up against uh, an Ambor with lots of energies, and he still can use the annoying ability, which is energy acceleration, lots of energies in one turn, which means I'm in a bad situation, even though I only have to pick two prize cards. It could be rough getting those. Uh, with a catcher, I can knock out a Magnemind, but still, the Ampor is causing trouble. Prepare for trouble. Yeah, make it double. Catcher and uh, the Magnemind. He dies again. Catcher and Magnemind. How many times did I do that already? Should be a drinking game. For each time you knock out a Magnemind, you can, you can take a drink. And I knock out Magnemind, get a one prize card, so I only have one prize card remaining. And my opponent has two prize cards remaining and it's everything going for him I don't have uh, energies in play I only have one energy on my uh, Zekrom and it looks like I don't have any energies in my deck anymore only a double Carlos which means this will be bad my deck is running uh, 
empty. And when it's empty, lose. And unfortunately, should be a, a new rule when your deck is up. You don't have to draw a card on your turn, but you can still finish the game. Which will, uh, should be a rule. And now I'm just uh, using the stage training. Hopefully I can get energies, or the last energy in my deck. Let's see here, we got lots of, yeah, looks like I do have the double card under stage training, so I definitely kept that all in my hand, and another card, and this card, uh, some item cards that I should, uh, or I couldn't use anymore, it wouldn't matter, my plus power wouldn't matter either, I have another one in my hand, um, yeah, or junk arm, those two, four, what will I pick? This was a bad decision. I picked uh, Pokey Gear because I know there's a, a chair in my deck. I looked through my deck when I used uh, the other card. Hmm. So my discard pile is uh, a big pile right now. My deck is uh, really slim. It's not looking good for me. So here you see uh, the long lasting battle I promised against Magnavore versus uh, TZ EBS. The upgraded version of TZ EBS. And yeah, that's all I can do. Catching double colors to my Zekrom and just can't do anything. And it's his move, he doesn't do anything, he just attacks for 80 damage because you know he uh, has this match in the bag because I don't have any energies anymore. With Pokegear, I finally get out my Chiron. There's no other way. And I saw that there's a switch in my uh, deck as well. So when I use Chiron and I have the switch, I can switch around. I started using Outrage with the Rocky Helmet so I can knock out. Um, uh, Ambor, when he damaged my Zekrom, hopefully I can get the switch, so I win the battle. Attaching the Rocky Helmet on uh, my Zekrom then, but it looks like the last card in my deck is the switch, so this pretty much ruined the game for me. I lost because of fate, I believe. There's not a single thing I can do. I have to attach the Rocky Helmet to my Tornadus instead, so too bad there. I uh, would have won if it was the switch. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing here, but... It was needed. I could have won there, but yeah. Here you see how Magnabor can win. So that's a good thing as well. And he knocks out my Tornadus. And that's it. I have, now I have the switch. Uh, the Outrage was needed uh, on my previous turn to knock out the Ambor. But yeah. Uh, who cares? My deck is up. Can't do anything. Yeah. Because uh, when I had the switch, the Ember would have attacked my Zekrom and I could use Outrage to uh, knock it out, but maybe not. What am I saying? He could have just passed and uh, let me run out of cards, so... Yeah, he definitely won. The match goes to him this time. But uh, since I already won a lot of times, I mean uh, a lot of times because we did... Uh, we spent like a whole afternoon making these uh, battle videos, so... Uh, unfortunately, uh, I lost to the last battle, but yeah, TZ DPS is a really good deck, I suggest you guys really test it out, and as you can see, we pointed out that uh, I could have won and stuff like that, but he deserved this match, so it's uh, kind of a draw here, but since we, all, we have to declare a winner, it's TZ DPS, because I already did lots of uh, winning battles, and yeah, uh, we didn't uh, put them in the video, otherwise there will be a video of 30 minutes, and yeah, we're close to 30 minutes, so thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions, put in, uh, in the comment section below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. This was Sabdush TCG. As usual, the uh, battle videos are on Saturday, so don't miss them. And Sunday is the battle, as the, no, not the battle video, the episode about Dredagon. So thanks for watching. Till next time.